A dangerous flash flooding event expected to unfold this morning and then another wave of moisture overnight tonight into tomorrow. So basically we've got at least through tomorrow morning to get through the potential of some very heavy rain across southeast Texas. All being brought up due to tropical storm beta that officially made landfall earlier or actually last night just after 10 o'clock there along the coastline of Matagorda County near the Matagorda Peninsula. Flash flood watches have been extended through Wednesday morning as the core of beta is not expected to move through until overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Here's the latest stats on beta. Uh, sustained winds at 40 miles per hour. It's movement to the northwest at three miles per hour. Very li little forward motion is expected as the steering winds uh, have diminished with this system. We won't see this system starting to move toward the north or northeast until later on tonight. Tropical storm warnings continue across parts of southeast Texas, excluding now Harris County and Fort Bend County, along with some storm surge warnings along the coastline from Brazoria County eastward. Here is the official forecast track uh, from the National Hurricane Center. Sustained winds of 40 miles per hour expected to continue through this evening and then by tomorrow morning it will start to jog toward the east. Those winds come down a bit down to 35 miles per hour becoming a tropical depression and then eventually it's moisture being taken away from our area as a trough to the west starts to dig toward the east and at that point we will see some drier conditions develop here across the area. So I want to show you future track, show you exactly what is unfolding. Those training feeder bands, they are slow to move. And even as they are, some of them are moving, we are encountering more feeder bands that are feeding over the same areas that have already picked up between six to eight inches of rain. We continue to monitor the bayous and creeks. The water levels are rising in some of our watersheds where we do have a couple of the watersheds out of banks. Here you can see the progression of moisture as it continues to slide eastward. Those feeder bands coming in overnight tonight has some longevity. It does look like these feeder bands could continue between 9, 10 o'clock in the evening to early Wednesday morning. It's not until after sunrise where our computer models are showing most of that moisture starting to pull away from our area. So unfortunately, we've got about 24 to 26 more hours hours of seeing the potential of some heavy rain again across the area. So if you do not have to be out and about today, especially in those flood prone areas. We've got flash flood warnings in effect this morning. You'll want to stay indoors. Additional rainfall totals right now look to be uh, between the two to five inch range across the Harris County area. Areas northward less than two inches. But don't be surprised if we see those isolated pockets of over 10 inches, mainly along the southeast side of town, along our coastal communities. Severe weather threat is on the low end today, but not at zero. There will be a possibility of a brief spin up with some of those thunderstorms. I know yesterday we did have a brief tornado warning along the coastline around the Bolivar Peninsula, so we could see a return of some of that inclement weather as we get into the afternoon. Those rain chances are high on Wednesday, mainly for the early morning hours. They should be dropping once the system pulls away from our area in the afternoon and evening hours. We've dropped that rain chance on Thursday to 20% could still see some lingering moisture for Friday. But as we welcome the first weekend of fall, it will feel nice with temperature readings over the weekend in the morning, starting off in the 60s and those highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. Keep it right here on ABC13.com. We've got live team coverage all morning long.